Hi guys, welcome back to Brew and Bill. Today I'm going to be brewing a dark English porter. Now, when I drink a porter, I want it to be really rich. I want it to be have real depth of flavor. I really want to taste the, the dark roasted uh, grains in it. Uh, I don't want it to be sort of wishy-washy. I want it to have a real assertiveness. And that's what I'm going to brew today. Uh, I'm going to leave out chocolate malt on this completely. and I'm just going to stick to roasted barley and uh, brown malt in this. And I'm going to try and bring out more, I guess, um, I, I'm looking for more coffee type flavors. There'll, there'll be chocolate in there as well, I think. But I'm looking for that real roasted uh, coffee type espresso almost flavors is what I'm, what I'm going to try chase here. So I'll run you through the recipe I've put together. What I'm going to start with is uh, 4.15 kilograms of pale malt. Now it's going to be Irish pale malt. I'm using the hook head pale malt again, which I, I think has got really good depth of flavor to it. Uh, I'm going to put in 400 grams of unmalted roasted barley. Now that's going to give the I guess the, the real basis of our roasted notes, we should get most of our coffee flavor from that. And there'll also be a certain degree of, of chocolate will come through in that. As I said, I'm gonna go for brown malt. So I'm gonna use 300 grams of Simpsons brown malt. Now, if you've never used brown malt, brown malt will give, give a, a, a real depth uh, to the beer even in small quantities you'll, you'll get a real depth to it but you'll definitely get coffee come through with brown malt so especially the simpsons malt um uh, you, you'll get a, a real uh espresso note will will come through in there not much chocolate i don't find comes from that side of it it's mostly coffee and just depth and body comes through in that now because I mean, there's 700 grams of, of really dark roasted malts in there. We need to balance that a, a little bit, uh, and I'm going to sweeten it up. And I'm going to go for 450 grams of uh, crystal malt. I'm going to use 120L crystal malt on that. And that should give us real... Uh, toasted sugar burnt sugar type notes but it will certainly balance all those dark malts which could end up a little bit too bitter if we don't sweeten it up a bit um i'm going to use hops wise i'm going to use 20 grams of northern brewer at 60 minutes and that'll give us 19 ibu from that and then i'm going to stick in 25 grams of fuggles at 30 minutes and we'll get another almost 11 IBU out of that which should give us about around about 30 IBU which is fairly assertive on the on the bitterness side uh, and that will once again balance the the crystal malt I guess in it and the just the richness of the beer full stop as far as yeast goes I'm going to go for uh, white labs WLP 028 that's the Edinburgh ale yeast um, I get a, a very clean fermentation out of that generally but it's 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 got it does have esters to it uh, I will ferment it on the warm side and and the Edinburgh ale yeast if you ferment slightly on the warm side will will bring out a few more esters a little bit like a slightly like an English ale yeast I guess but not completely water profile wise I am going to go for if I bring this up uh, it'll be a yellow full profile so a little bit of body in there a little bit of mineral just to thicken up the beer a little bit more I guess right with that said uh, we'll go through the kitchen and we'll start getting some of these grains and get the beer underway
Well, this tasting session's been a long time coming. I bottled this porter about five months ago. Um, I'm actually down to my last bottle here, so if the pour goes badly on this, I'm absolutely stuffed. Uh, I have to say, over those five months, this has been getting better and better and better. I, it's, it started out a little bit uh, too dry. There were, there were real dry roasted notes from having so much dark malt in there. Um, but over, I would say, over a period of sort of about a month to six weeks or so, that really, really smoothed out and got left with a, a very, very smooth beer on this. So we'll open this up and we'll see what it's like. So you can see the, the head on it is a quite a dark tan sort of head. Uh, I keep, keep the carbonation on my dark beers fairly low, so the head isn't huge by any means. Uh, but it does stick around. Um, it, it generally gives pretty good lacing down the glass. Uh, but it's a, it's a good looking beer. It is, it's extremely dark, really, really dark. I don't know whether we can really get much of a shot on that uh, certainly no light comes through it even on the thin section at the bottom of the glass there's, there's very little light comes through the beer uh, smell wise you can you really get the 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 brown malt coming through there is the it's chocolate uh, coffee uh, but the the crystal malt also comes through. You can you can really t smell that sweet, dark, sh burnt, almost burnt sugar from that crystal malt in there. My mouth's watering just thinking about this. Let's try it. Absolutely delicious. I was, I was quite worried about this when I, I first started the beer. Uh, as I say, over the first month to six weeks, it was just it was just that little bit too harsh. My wife loved it straight away, uh, but it was just it was just always a little bit too dry on the back of my mouth. But after about that sort of month and a half period, and it really smoothed out, all these flavours have just melded together beautifully, and you get I, I suppose the first thing that really hits you is the is the the roasted barley obviously that comes through quite strongly but then you get coffee come through and I, I think it, it then gets replaced a little bit by the the sweetness of the crystal malt yeah that crystal malt comes through second it's not it's not dreadfully sweet considering the amount of crystal malt that's in there it's actually not that sweet a beer um the i think the intensity of the hops bitterness and the fact that there is just so much roasted grain in there that bitterness of the grain tempers the the sweetness a lot it's, it's really well balanced at the end of it though all i'm left with is is just it's just notes of coffee chocolate and coffee the i mean the brown malt has worked incredibly well in this i i was i was not sure about how i was going to go with no chocolate malt in this but the the brown malt is, is really got it's light notes of of chocolate but it is it's largely um coffee coming through there I'm really happy with this. I, I, I was skeptical as to whether I'd make it again. Um, but yeah, now that it's aged in, I'd be tempted to make another batch of this, stick it at the back of a cupboard for six months and let it age. It, it just does keep getting better and better. I'd have loved to have had a few bottles and, and actually aged this for 12 months or more. Nonetheless, I'm going to enjoy this last bottle. 
and uh, I guess until the next video, life's good, drink more beer, see you for the next one.